Hey there! For over 13 years, we have seen the giant of cryptocurrency go through different phases and grow into an option for the idea of money as against fiat money. Recently, we have observed a major crash in the cryptocurrency world. Are we to expect more crashes or the green candles are to come back again? In this video, we would course through the giant of crypto, Bitcoin, and what to expect in the next few months. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification button for more videos like this. Now, let us get to it. A brief history of Bitcoin. When banks and their role in the financial system came under increasing scrutiny during the Great Recession of 2008, Bitcoin was born. Somebody claiming to be Satoshi Nakamoto published a white paper to discuss the issue of centralized management of money and the need for trust when handling people's cash. The creators of the cryptocurrency Bitcoin go by the pseudonym. Satoshi Nakamoto. The identity of the person that the term Satoshi Nakamoto represents has never been confirmed, even though it is frequently associated with Bitcoin. Many people think that it is a fictitious name for an individual or group of individuals. Transaction costs can pile up in the conventional financial system when transactions may be undone or interfered with by third parties. The idea behind Bitcoin was to enable transactions without the use of a middleman. Instead of depending on external banks and other institutions to ensure the network's integrity, the Bitcoin system employs cryptographic evidence. Shetan Chawla, an assistant professor of entrepreneurship at a North Central College in Naperville, Illinois, who studies cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology, claims that during the first few months of its existence, it could only be obtained by miners confirming the Bitcoin network. Bitcoin had no actual monetary value at this time. Miners would exchange Bitcoin back and forth for amusement. Miners are skilled computer users who find new Bitcoins by using powerful machines to solve challenging math problems. In 2010, Bitcoin was made available on exchanges, making it simpler to purchase, sell, trade, and store. These exchanges are responsible for giving Bitcoin a consistent price about the US dollar. Along with the dollar, it has even been formally recognized as legal money in El Salvador. The price of Bitcoin surpassed the $1 mark in February 2011. For the first few years as it flourished, its price was less than $2. In June 2011, it saw its first bubble rising to almost $30. $31 before plummeting back to the single digit range. In April 2013, over two years later, Bitcoin hit $200. The same year, it was valued at more than $1,000 by the end of November. The price then increased to $10,000 in November 2017 and reached its peak in November 2021 when it was close to $68,990. That doesn't mean the journey was trouble-free. Investors were seen to be paying a premium to hold Bitcoin in 2017 which led to the belief that it was in a bubble. Billions of cash have entered the cryptocurrency market thanks to the ICO frenzy. In the first few months of 2018, investors witnessed a sharp decline in the value of coins as prices plummeted due to a combination of psychological and technical issues, including doubt, fraud, and lack of conviction. What you might refer to as a more mature market for Bitcoin emerged following its price decline. National banks were permitted to hold digital assets and Fidelity entered the custodian field. Existing smart and effective exchanges are taking the required steps to build a sustainable and viable market for trading and investing in Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, and core institutional grade companies are doing the same. Has there been a crash before? The sell-off of the majority of cryptocurrencies starting in January 2018 is referred to as the 2018 cryptocurrency crash, also known as the Bitcoin crash and the great crypto crash. Between January 6th and February 6, 2018, the price of Bitcoin dropped by nearly 65% following an unheard of rise in 2017. The subsequent crash of Bitcoin was followed by almost all other cryptocurrencies. The 2018 cryptocurrency meltdown was worse than the dot-com bubble's 78% collapse since, by September 2018, cryptocurrencies had fallen by 80% from their peak in January 2018. After losing about a third of its value in the previous week, Bitcoin likewise plunged by 80% from its peak on the 26th of November. Bitcoin's overall market value dropped below $100 billion in November 2018 for the first time since October 2017, while the price of the cryptocurrency dropped below $4,000, an 80% drop from its peak in January. The price of Bitcoin dropped to about $3,100 in December 2018. One of the finest years for cryptocurrency investors was 2021. Although Bitcoin reached an all-time high of $69,000 in November 2021, the total market capitalization of the cryptocurrency was just around $3 trillion. 
Before the end of the year, analysts and cryptocurrency enthusiasts predicted that Bitcoin will surpass the $100,000 threshold. They had no idea that things were about to get much worse. Today, with the price of Bitcoin battling to stay over $20,000, only 26,284 addresses are said to hold assets worth more than $1 million which means that over the past 9 months, the number of paper millionaires has decreased by more than 75%. The number of whales or cryptocurrency investors who claim a wallet with more than $10 million in value has also been affected by the sharp decrease in the price of the leading cryptocurrency. Just 4,342 locations still have a minimum cash value of $10 million today. Down from 10,587 in November of last year, a 58% decrease. Before we move on, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification button for more videos like this. Numerous problems have had a detrimental effect on Bitcoin and the rest of the digital asset market, including increased regulatory scrutiny, persistent geopolitical upheaval, growing inflation, and interest rate hikes. Commentators appear to concur that the price of risk assets like Bitcoin could continue to decline for an extended period due to the growing concern around the stability of global markets. Thus, this herald at the start of the crypto revolution's demise? Most likely not. The cryptocurrency shakeout may even improve the industry by reducing some of the excessive speculative features and bringing attention to the positive parts of the technology. By weakening the influence of powerful major banks and other traditional financial institutions, institutions and opening up access to essential financial products and services so that less wealthy families might take advantage of them, the Bitcoin revolution promised to democratize finance. However, the truth is that many of these advantages are still untapped. There will be a lot more regulation with an emphasis on transparency, investor protection, and risk-taking restrictions. Financial literacy is still a significant problem. Retail investors should be allowed to invest their hard-earned money however they see fit but they should at the very least enter the process with their eyes wide open. It is important to prevent cryptocurrency promoters and their celebrity allies from making exaggerated claims about large returns and low risk. These individuals frequently conceal their personal financial interests in the items they advocate. Second, as the technology develops and operates within legal constraints, it might begin to contribute to enhancing how the financial system functions. In particular, the technology has the potential to increase the efficiency of some financial components, particularly payments. In the best case scenario, regulators from around the world may agree on a global framework for cryptocurrency regulation by 2020 and beyond. That, however, appears improbable given the current global attitudes about cryptocurrencies, which range from crypto transactions are bad in China to Bitcoin is an official currency in El Salvador and the Central African Republic. In the near future, world anonymity on the subject seems doubtful. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification channel to get more updates. See you later!